Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nicholas Rivas. I talk about politics and stuff. And today we're going to be talking about the whole Twitter fiasco. So Elon Musk is now changing Twitter since he owns it. I've already talked about this and how I feel about him in general. Um, but TLDR is that I like him to an extent, but he's definitely leaning towards a uh, billionaire who just cons people. Um, basically a, a symptom of late stage capitalism. You know, I'm, I'm a hippie guys. We get it. So, um, yeah. So, so Elon is really stampeding through, uh, changing, uh, Twitter and it's, it's definitely working for some people. It's definitely working not for me. Um, and I'll explain why. So many people feel kind of, um, angry with him because he's expecting people to pay eight dollars a month to be verified and there's this whole controversy where people are stepping in like hank green aoc and just fighting with him getting thousands and like hundreds of thousands i think he had a million like retweets or something or at some point or likes just this like huge amount i've never seen engagement like this on twitter um and i'm i'm chronically on it so you know i should really stop but it's i'm conflicted so I don't necessarily mind that Twitter needs a sort of revenue somewhere. I mean, being hinged upon advertisers is not the greatest because you then find yourself being censored more than you should be. Um, you don't want to have that as your only revenue. So I get that. On a business standing, I do get that. But his max ex- exodus of firing people is odd. I, I, I don't maybe Maybe I mean, it, maybe they were just too big for their own good. I, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not in the, in, in the field of it all. But it's just odd. It's so odd to see um, all these people get ousted with no sort of heads up, you know? So that's kind of weird. But the $8 thing, I'm like, okay, I kind of get it. I kind of see it. You know, I don't I don't necessarily agree with it all. But I'm like, hey, you know, it makes sense. Uh, but people are combating it and saying, you know, making fun of Elon basically – uh, criticizing that you know anybody can make these verified accounts aoc is not going to pay for eight dollars a month he's rebuttaled and said hey you better pay you you're over here talking about socialism but meanwhile look at your sweaters you sell them for 65 dollars." so this is where i started derailing i felt i felt derailed with elon was that the guy uh is kind of just a smug asshole and like definitely i think people give him too much heat for shit but not enough for other stuff and so i definitely think this is one of those cases where he looks stupid like i think there's arguments to be made for the eight dollar thing again don't necessarily agree with it it definitely feels like it's going against the whole free speech mindset that like anybody can hop in and and talk about what they want to talk about but this is now favoring certain people and it's like look I know that's just real life, but I thought a man who seemed to be preaching for the people for free speech really just wanted free speech for him um, by having him and his elite buddies be able to get the attention and traction they need on Twitter. Meanwhile, the regular folk are kind of left behind. I mean, there's a reason why he's in his 1% group because he's a one percenter. So I don't believe this is a free speech for him as much as people think it is. You know, I don't believe also that he is hitting the points he wants to hit when attacking AOC or Hank Green, uh, they were criticizing that the $8 seems a bit too steep, not for themselves. Even Stephen King came out and said, like, this is just too pricey just to get a blue check mark next to my name when I should just be what I thought the system was. You get it because it's like, oh, you're a verified. That's There's a million Stephen Kings out there, but you're the Stephen King we're all thinking of. But no, Elon attacked him because he's rich and uh, you can afford it. Like, that's not an argument that they're making unless they're not vocalizing it correctly. I, I, I understood what they were saying. But I think he's trying to avert or he's just stupid. <laughs> and I like him. I like what he's doing with the platform, you know, if, if it is true that he wants to uncensor everything. Um, but, there you know, there's, there's nuances with it with, you know, hate crimes and how far does free speech go. I mean, definitely, if we're talking about the Constitution, you should say anything you want, but you can't threaten people. So there should be some sort of, I guess, like uh, guidelines, right? Um, But I don't want people – I feel like my defense of of why I'm so 
maybe open with him is because I want Elon to to create that world where people don't get censored. Even if it does bring in hate speech, I feel that it, like if I, a communist, if I, a socialist, were to say things, people would be the first, I would be the first of many to be censored because of my radical views. So I, I, always, I always felt the protected class of free speech is worth it when it comes to the whole hate speech stuff that comes but again there should be guidelines like i know there's no actual legal precedent but if i were to say fire in a movie theater i i'm not surprised if i get some repercussions because of it maybe the government can't really hurt me but because of the actions of saying that i set it in a burning building and people stampeded somebody yeah maybe there's grounds of, of some law that needs to be occurring either through a civil suit or an actual legislation because I was being reckless and endangering people um, knowing that there was no fire right but it, it's nuanced because how do you predict this or how do you explain this or how do you fathom all of this like what's free speech and what's comedy what's parody versus hate speech like there's there's definitely nuanced conversations to be had I don't feel this is a full-on taking people's free speech away but it's definitely an oddity that i have to pay to use a service that's been free and realistically i thought it would become a public space i thought this would be the public forum that we all can jump onto and by having a billionaire in there he would be like well i have no real incentive to make the money here because i'm already making money this is just an ancillary thing but no this guy wants to make money from twitter which the way he's doing it sounds like he's not so it's funny it's funny to see how this whole Elon thing is coming out. Um, <laughs> I've definitely been in the camp of like laughing my ass off, but very angry too, given like his remarks to AOC. I just thought like that was just really weak, and he's just not really, I don't know, he just doesn't seem really principled in his standings. He doesn't really seem to also care. I think he's just trolling just to troll. And like, I think little kids like that, maybe teenagers, but that shit just annoys me. Like, I'm just bored of it. Like, I'm not just trying to egg people on. I want to have a, you know, an, an engagement. Uh, I want to have an engaging conversation. I want to have a civil discussion. And if you start becoming uncivil, I don't really know if the discussion is even worth it. You know, like, are you even going to give a shit about what I say? So that that's where I feel like he falls under is that I don't really think he gives a shit. I mean, the guy's so rich. Like, how do you give a shit? So, yeah, I think I think it's interesting to see him go against the the big names of Twitter, either through a celebrity or uh, just someone who has a lot of followers uh, on Twitter. Like, I don't really know what his his battle is or where this is going to go, but a lot of people don't seem that much pleased with Twitter. I know his fans are, but when you look outside the bubbles, and again, Twitter is its own bubble, it's its own world. I've said this a million times in many other videos that Twitter is not real life. Um, but given the communities I'm seeing now, I don't think he's on anyone's side, but you know, I'm not the billionaire, so we'll see, I guess. Ultimately, I, I don't like the system. I think it has a lot of flaws, but I'm also sympathetic that it's a it's a, it's a bill that needs to get paid, and you, you got to find some sort of in, in, invoice and income and yada yada. So we'll see. Uh, I think it's a good spot to end it, so thank you all, and uh, yabba dabba do. Gabba ghoul. Liquidate all objectives. Bomb acquired.
Allied forces severely degraded. Complete your sweep. Well executed, HVA. Continue on mission. Imagine flying in your I didn't see you go prone, I just heard you. Oh, yeah. Switching rally points. Holds the objective. Nigga, what? They had crossbows first. Eliminate the objective. Uh, Charges acquired. We lost the bomb. Playing hmm, you complaining about when I pulled out the crossbow and you guys had a monster? Nah, first? man. Who got a fuck on our team? Well, you guys had two crossbows on your team. Oh, I think that might have been the dude who left. Black well, crap, yo. Switching bad. sides. Man. I don't see what kind of crossbow. Protect the objectives. Enemy left, put them down. You did the workers proud. RTB. That nigga you guys had last a lot of Mission area is secure. Dispatch cleanup crew. 